Hello little readers! Do you sometimes struggle to read? Then you can read along with me. Today we will be practicing our reading skills with Pete the Cat. We will also be answering some questions about the story to practice our comprehension skills. Before we do, remember to ask mommy or daddy to press that like and subscribe button that you won't miss out. Today we are going to read Pete the Cat Rocking Field Day by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete the Cat is excited. Today is the town's annual field day. Pete can't wait. Last year, his team came in third place. He wants to win first place this year. Pete puts on a groovy shirt. He puts on a cool headband. Pete ties his red shoes. He is ready to go. Pete goes to the park. Callie, Grumpy Toad and Gus are waiting for him. The four of them are a team. Pete sees his competition. If he wants a medal, he will have to beat Alligator, Squirrel, Turtle and Marty. Wise Old Owl welcomes the teams. It is time for field day to start. First up is the baton relay. The teams take their places. Ready? Set Groove! Pete runs to Callie. Callie grabs the baton and runs to Gus. Alligator runs to Marty. Marty passes his baton to Squirrel. Squirrel is very fast. She gives her baton to Turtle. Turtle crosses the finish line. Ahead of Grumpy Toad, Turtle wins. Pete is frustrated. He wants to win first prize. But his team was not fast enough. Pete will have to try harder. The three-legged race is next. Pete knows he can win this time. Pete and Gus are a team. Ready, set, groove! Pete and Gus start to run. Suddenly, they fall down. Gus tripped on his shoelace. Marty and Squirrel work together. They don't fall down. They cross the finish line. Pete starts to feel disappointed. He keeps losing. Next is the water balloon toss. Pete can't give up. He has to do better this time. Pete throws his balloon to Callie. She catches it and tosses it back. Down the line, a balloon breaks. The team step back and throw again. More balloons fall and break. Soon only two teams are left. Alligator throws his balloon. It hits Pete and pops. Pete is wet 
but happy. He and Kelly win. Pete thinks about what games are left to play. If he wins everything, he can still get a medal. Right now, it is time for tug of war. Pete knows his team is strong. He is sure they can win. Marty's team pulls the rope. Pete's team pulls the rope harder. Alligator tumbles over the line. Pete's team wins. Next is the obstacle course. Pete lines up. He knows he can win. Ready, set, groove. Pete runs through tires. He climbs up a wall. He belly crawls through a tunnel. Ahead of him, Pete sees the finish line. He runs as fast as he can. Pete crosses the line first. Now Pete is happy. If he wins the last game, he will get first prize. The last game is carry the egg. Pete holds an egg on a spoon. He runs as fast as he can. Pete's egg wobbles and falls. Suddenly, he is covered in yolk. Pete joins his friends on the medal stand. Pete's team and Marty's team tied for first place. Pete is happy. He didn't get to win alone. But sharing with friends isn't so bad. Pete looks at his groovy medal. What a rocking day. The end. Let's answer some questions about the story. What place did Pete's team finish in last year? A. Third place. B. Second place. C. Fourth place. A. Third place. Next question. What color is the competitor's team? A. Red. B. Green. C. Blue. C. Blue. Next question. Who crosses the finish line first with the baton relay? A. Squirrel. B. Toad. C. Turtle. C. Turtle. Next question. What races did Pete's team win? A. Baton relay, tug of war and obstacle course. B. Balloon fight, tug of war, and obstacle course. 
C. Tug of war and carry the egg. B. Balloon fight, tug of war and obstacle course. Next question. What does it mean if the teams ended in a tie? A. They have to replay the game. B. Both teams won. C. Both teams lose. B. Both teams won. Great work! Thank you for reading along with me, little reader. Remember to check out my read aloud stories on my YouTube channel to help you build on your English vocabulary. See you next time!